if you follow my channel, you know that one of my favorite European brands is Benzac. Now Benzac was started in 2013 over in Amsterdam by Leonard Nye, and they really try and bring a modern twist to a lot of uh, classic styles, typically using Japanese fabrics and European construction. So these are made over in Portugal. Most of the, most of the brand's products are made over in Portugal. So that means it's good value, uh, ethical, uh, relatively low carbon if you live in Europe, and really good quality. So as I say, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I've used their product range for a long time. Um, one of their standout products featured a few years ago are their B01 uh, jeans. So classic denim jeans, I think it's 15, 15 ounce or so denim, and they've just faded and worn beautifully. Uh, you know, the honeycombs on the back of the knees there, absolutely fantastic, um, lovely jeans. Um, so yeah, big believer in Benzac, great brand all round. Um, if you want to see a few more products, do check out my uh, channel. Reviewed a few things over the years. But I was looking through their webpage and they've just launched their spring summer uh, range for this year. And the star of the show, I thought, was this wonderful uh, military overshirt. Uh, this is in a 12.7 ounce hickory stripe uh, material. Um, made over in the collect mills in Japan. So as I say, Japanese fabrics, um, European construction, um, and that's a mix between sort of modern and uh, heritage styling. Um, absolutely lovely. This is one washed, so there's no shrink uh, coming through in it. Um, really, really nice, soft in the hand because that washing pr process. Um, and the indigo stripes have just started to give that little electric blue pop which uh, sort of denim fans will know is a sort of precursor to some serious fading. So this will wear really nicely, I think. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely shirt. Um, so we'll get into some details, but just very quickly on the sizing on these. Um, Benzac are pretty consistent on their sizing. This is medium. Most of the stuff I've had from them is medium. And I'm 5'10", 5'11", on a good day. Um, 78 kilos. Uh, so this comes in a medium at a 21.7 inch chest, so that's a really nice fit. We'll get into some uh, thoughts on how you might style that uh, when we look at it on. I think I could size up and wear it a bit more like a chore jacket, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the other stuff that I've picked up to pair with that, again, as I say, inspired by their spring-summer lookbook, the other two items are from their core collection, so stuff which will be in stock year on, year out. Um, so the first one here is their straight chino. So this is BC03. And this is a 10 ounce uh, golden brown military twill. Um, lovely cotton material. Again, made over in the collect mills. Um, of course, we'll come in with some close-ups. Now, this is a straight leg. Slightly different look for me. I normally prefer a taper, but I think this will be really nice uh, in the summer pairing very nicely with the hickory shirt there. Um, tag size 31 on these, uh, which gives a 34.3 inch uh, waist. Expect a little bit of stretch. My optimum waist is around about 35. That's a sweet spot between comfort and needing to wear a belt. Um, but I think these will break in just fine. And the last item to pair for this spring summer uh, lookbook inspired uh, review is their extra heavy uh, gusset tee. So heritage styling, you've got the gusset at the front there and at the rear. Super, super heavy weight. Um, so that's 100% cotton and coming in at 300 grams per square meter. So a really pretty heavy jersey. And again, size medium, 20.7 uh, 20 inch chest on this one. So fitting nicely under the shirt. But yeah, as I say, consistent sizing really. Um, so what we'll do is we'll come in for some shots of these on and we'll talk about the sizing a little bit more and then we'll come in with some close-ups. First up, we've got the chinos. Really, really nice fit. Great around the top block and thighs. Relaxed straight leg. Not cuffed here. I 
I think they do need to be cuffed or taken up a little. Moving on to the vintage gusset tee, lovely weight to this, nice oversized fit. Medium, as ever, is bang on for me in Benzac stuff. In this shot we've got the chinos cuffed. I think this is a really great look, much more tidy. I like the way they're a little short in the leg. Nice summary look. Tell me what you think. I'm really moving on to the star of the show, the BWS 03 military overshirt. Really, really nice fit. Again, medium. I'd say this kind of fits sort of between a shirt and maybe sort of the, the slightly shorter body of a, a Type 3 denim jacket. I think maybe if you took it up a size, you could get a bit more of that chaw coat feel, slightly oversized. Um, but this fits really nice, and I think it will be nice for layering in the summer. It's got a really nice weight of material, the 12.7 ounce twill from Collect Mills. And those hand warmer pockets will just be super snug. Just coming in for some close-ups. Um, the first thing to note on the uh, BWS 03 military overshirt is this is a CPO style. Uh, so CPO, Chief Petty Officer. It's a style which dates back to um, the 1930s from the decks of the US military uh, or US Navy even um, and basically it's just a robust overshirt keep you dry or keep you warm at least um, but it also has these nice hand warmer pockets which give it that sort of double usage so um, you can layer it like a shirt or you can wear it as an outer garment really useful for the summer um, so on the pockets here you've got a nice um, bit of piping around the edge just to keep it all held together and a good size um, colour matched uh, pocket bag. Uh, just going through on the inside there you can see the, the other side of the material. So that's a nice feature. It's first CPO shirt I've actually had. Um, yeah, really looking forward to get, getting to know that. Um, the other thing look at whilst we're down here, lovely lovely fabric. So this is a 12.7 ounce uh, twill, as I said earlier, from the Collect Mills over in Japan. Um, twill is very similar to denim, so a very similar uh, pattern in the weave. And uh, with this indigo stripe, I think we expect to see it uh, fading in a similar way. So something to look forward to there. Um, just going back up to the top of the shirt. Typical collar detail, as per any other shirt. Uh, Benzac label, size medium. Very consistent sizing on Benzac. Uh, Japanese fabric, so as I said, made over in the Collect Mills. You've got these nice um, navy blue buttons with matching uh, stitch. You've got work shirt style pockets with a single button flap at the top there. Good size pocket. Nice matching of the lines up and down there. Always like it when things match like that. Um, sleeves. Simple single button on there, nicely finished around the edge. Um, just moving down the shirt before we open it up, at the bottom we've got the uh, Benzac uh, Steers Head, Bulls Head logo. Really nice feature. Forget what the uh, significance of that is, but um, if you know, let me know. Uh, but that features on all Benzac's pro uh, products pretty much. And then just opening it up to have a quick look at the construction on the inside. I um, was very impressed to see that we've got some nice felled stitched seams. Always a good sign of quality. Looks really nice. Um, so on the seams here, they've been folded over on themselves to create a top quality felled stitch in this uh, tough uh, navy stitch. Um, nice construction around the arms there and uh, yeah material looks really nice on the inside as well you can see the navy stitch is used navy stitch is used with throughout Got the pocket bags there for the uh, hand warm pockets and uh, yeah we'll move on to the next product the BC03 chinos have that classic uh, chino cut so we're not having the uh, jean style pockets here you've got the classic 
uh, chino uh, style pockets, belt loops. You've got the uh, steers head, the bull's head there again. We've got a zip fly using a high quality talon zip, which is sort of favored in the uh, Japanese heritage community. I think it sort of harks back to the military issue zips. Um, always like on Benzac, you've got the sizing tab on the inside of the fly. Just seems really useful actually. Um, sometimes you do want to quickly check and you don't want to have to dig around at the back. Um, on the inside here, we've got a eight ounce uh, indigo chambray uh, pocket. Really, really tough. Very nice when that softens up. It's quite stiff and starchy at the moment, um, but very, very tough material. Um, we've got those at the back as well. So both the pockets at the front and the back, and they've all got really good uh, level of capacity. They're all stitched back up into the waistband, so they're not going anywhere. Bit of branding at the back there. Of course, Japanese fabric, Collect Mills, um, golden brown twill, uh, 10 ounce, and uh, that's described as a reverse sateen uh, weave. If you know what that means, let me know in the comments. I'm not quite sure, I had a quick Google. Um, seemed to me that sateen was just a, a variation on the phrase twill, um, but if you know different, let me know. So, nice construction all the way around. Nice felled stitch at the, uh, at the rise at the back there. Bit of Benzac branding, BDD, uh, Benzac Denim Developers, I think it is. Um, just moving down to the uh, bottom of the leg here. These are straight uh, legs, so these terminate in a 8.1 inch cuff, which is a little bit wider than I'd normally choose, but a um, bit of variety is good. I normally go for a tapered leg, but a straight leg is a nice thing to have in the wardrobe. Now this isn't a salvage material, but they've done a nice um, clean finish on here. So they've, on the outer edge, they've wrapped it around and stitched it with a nice little bright blue stitch. So these can be uh, cuffed without looking untidy on the outside there. And I think I'll probably either cuff these or have these hemmed. Um, these are slightly longer leg than I'd normally go for. I think it's 33.1 uh, inch leg. I normally like to have a just shy of 32. Allows a uh, seam just to sit on top of a low rise trainer, which is to my liking. But yeah, really nicely finished hem. Do like that, uh, that way they've tidied that up, even though it's not selvage. Very nice. Um, just flipping it around. Not so much to see on the back here. Again, you've got the pockets, nice and deep. So you can see that my whole hand fits in there. So modern smartphone, large wallet, all fits nicely into there. So the pocket bag goes down to the upper thigh, really. Uh, the other pocket is also well specced. Neither of the pockets are buttoned, um, but very nicely made. Belt loops and a leather veg tan patch on the back there with Benzac written on it. Yeah, look like they're very nicely made. Last up, we've got the BT06 um, vintage inspired heavy jersey t-shirt. So this is an off-white. Um, the material is a 300 gram uh, jersey material. So pretty much on the heavier end of what you'll find in a t-shirt. Really nice stitching throughout. Good quality, um, nice gusset detail at the front there and repeated on the back. Um, Benzac branding, of course. Down at the bottom, we've got the uh, bull's head again. And uh, yeah, just a really nice uh, classic sort of wardrobe staple. Nice, slightly oversized cut. Um, good quality material. Nice and heavy and warm uh, for layering or sole layer of a summer evening. But yeah, looks really good. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the review. Um, we'll certainly be doing a follow-up review on this military overshirt. Really interested to see how the uh, the indigo stripes evolve over time with the summer's wear under its belt. Um, really looking forward to seeing some fades on that. 
and uh, seeing how much contrast we can achieve. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Lots of denim reviews, including European brands like Benzac and Companion, along with some of the Japanese classics, Ironheart, Oni, Momotaro, and so forth. Um, quality footwear, everyday carry, fountain pens, that sort of stuff. Um, please do, do check out, you might find we share some other common interests. If you found this review useful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've had Benzac products before, um, please share your thoughts on the quality, the fit, um, anything else you, you'd like to share. Um, I've been really pleased, certainly these uh, B01s, absolutely fantastic, lovely fades, uh, good quality combination of Japanese fabric and European manufacture, reasonably good price point as well. Um, but yeah, a few Benzac products on there, do check it out. Um, and that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.